Everybody keeps saying that they have issues with NVIDIA and dual monitors, but I swear, just only two distros that I've tried recently have given me issues like that. Alright guys, I think I may have jumped the gun and misjudged MX Linux a little too soon and a little too harshly when things went wrong. I absolutely love their MX tools that they include with this distribution. I think it makes it awesome. I always wanted to run a Debian distribution, but I always felt like it was for more advanced users than myself. So I just like an itch that you just had to scratch. I reinstalled it. I run all my distributions on my computer, full installation. I don't mess with uh, virtual machines or any of that. Because I'll tell you why. I've had them, had them work in VMs or the live USBs before, and then you install them, and then it doesn't quite work the same. So whenever I look at a distribution, I back up what I need to on a thumb drive, and I do I wipe away my current installation. OpenSUSE is always going to be my fallback 100% I can rely on. So it's nothing to really reinstall. But I want to give another look at this today. Of course, Mango Hood isn't working. And what I'm going to do is fire Space Engineers up the same game that I ran in my last video. And we are going to give it a go. And to be totally fair, I'm going to run the exact same mods that I had in the previous video too. No, I did not back up my game file, but this is a new world and I dug a little just to uh, test things out. And for whatever reason, it's running smoother than it did in my previous install. So I'm a little perplexed about that, a little confused about that. But I'm going to give another look here. Okay, we're in game and I'm where I left off, digging holes. But as you can see, I think it runs just as good as the tumbleweed. Now to be fair, I, I did also try last night. I'm just in that mood to try new things. I tried Nobara. Uh, I, I really loved what I saw with that distribution. Um, my problem was a lot of things just didn't work. Space engineers would not launch at all. Uh, Balheim, which runs native, would launch, and Mango HUD worked with it, but I could not get this game to launch at all. I like using this game as an example because it is an older game, and a lot of people have access to it, but also it is pretty resource intensive. But for whatever reason, the frame rates are holding steady, whereas I, when I tried this before, it was kind of all over the place, but which I find very interesting. So if anybody has any insight to that, I would love to, to know why that is. From what I read, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm not going to complain because it's installed now. And so far, so good. It's getting the performance that I would expect out of OpenSUSE so far. I've tried this ice down there. I definitely need that. I've tried uh, Valheim, which runs native. And it, it runes great. And this just uses the, whatever the default Proton is, and it's running great. And I plan to test Elden Ring. That'll be my next one. So that's just a little tip I had. Uh, when you down MX, download MX Linux, try both ISOs. If the, the advanced hardware support doesn't work for you, try the other one because that's the only thing I literally did differently. And I should have marked that ice. But yeah, that's just a heads up. I don't know. Uh, like I said, if anybody knows why, I have a, a 3700X, uh, RTX 3070, 32 gigs DDR4, and two one terabyte SSDs with a dual monitor setup. And by the way, this did not give me any issue with dual monitors. Everybody keeps saying that they have issues with NVIDIA and dual monitors, but I swear, just only two distros that I've tried recently have given me issues like that. Everything else has handled it, no sweat. But yeah, guys, uh, if, the, if the advanced hardware support ISO doesn't work for you, try the other one. Because for whatever reason, it works better for me. Alright, thanks for watching.